One of the best comfort foods that you can make is a French onion soup. It's going to be really rich and creamy, some nice caramelized onions, cheesy on the top. There's no other comfort food like French onion soup. It's very easy to make actually. Um, the recipe for my French onion soup is below in the comments section. So we're going to cook in a Dutch oven today on the induction burner. And we're going to saute some onions. I've got three tablespoons of butter. In we go. Three cups of onions. Now onions can be kind of carby, so I've kind of scaled this down from years past. That's going to go in. Use a wooden spoon too. And I'm just going to stir this and move it around. It's going to take probably about a half hour. We don't want our heat too high. We want to go to fairly low, like a medium low heat. And if you run into trouble at all, just put a little bit of your broth in there to, you know, kind of steam it and it'll really help if you start to go brown. But just reduce your heat. And you can see that I've cut them fairly thin little rings like that. So I'll just saute these and break them down. Okay, so for the last 30 minutes, I stood here and I stirred this. And there's nothing like the smell of butter and onions cooking outside in the fall. So it's nicely, it's nicely caramelized. I'm happy with that. And um, the Dutch oven is very good for this. If you don't have a Dutch oven, use a heavy bottom pot. That should do. Now I've got some bone broth. This is beef bone broth. And I made this yesterday as I was doing yard work. You start it in the morning. If you don't know how to make bone broth, um, I'll put a link for it. But um, it's very flavorful. Um, it went all day long. And then I put it in the fridge. I let it cool. Put it in the fridge. Took the fat off the top. And um, this is all cooled and everything. So I've got five cups of beef bone broth. What I'm going to do now is turn the, the heat up. We're going to put in two bay leaves, quarter cup of red wine, dry red wine. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I've got a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two sprigs of fresh thyme from the garden. And I'm putting this in as optional, but this is beef better than bouillon. And I really suggest putting that in because I want my, I want my French onion soup to be really super flavorful and beefy. And so I'm going to add in my teaspoon of better than bouillon. There we go. And I know from making this, I just want like a little bit of salt and pepper. So I've got some fresh cracked pepper here. And a little bit of kosher salt. So in that goes. So I'm going to bring this up into a boil and then simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay so this took about 20 minutes to bring the flavor of the onions into the broth and meld everything. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the thyme sprigs out and the bay leaves. Okay, I've preheated my grill to 375 degrees and I'm going to cook indirect. I've got heat on this side, heat on this side on a very clean grill and we're going to put the French onion soup on the top rack right in the center. So that's just coming up to uh, temperature now. I'm going to put some French onion soup into the bottom of each onion soup bowl. This will give you six servings. I'll probably stretch this into eight. It's a nice appetizer. Um, I've got some eggplants on there. I'm making uh, baba ganoush. And um, this is our appetizer. And I'll throw some strip loins on. Now, normally what I would do in years past when I wasn't keto is I would take like a French baguette and I would toast that up and butter it and put it on the top. This is just a, uh, a keto bread. It's like one, two carbs, net carbs per slice. And I just kind of made it round. I toasted it and I put a little bit of butter on the top. And I also put um, 
a little bit of garlic salt. We just want that to float on the top. Now, normally you'd use Gruyere or mozzarella. I'm using Swiss today. And I just want that to kind of overhang the edge like that. And that's gonna just melt down nicely. So I'm right at 375 degrees. My eggplants are doing well. Flip them onto the top shelf. You can cook in the oven if you like. That'll go for about 15, 20 minutes till it's all hot and bubbly and the cheese is all melted. Well, it smells fantastic. Here's what it looks like. Nice and hot and bubbly and the cheese is kind of uh, golden brown. That took a total of 15 minutes. You can see what that looks like. That's a great appetizer. Rich and flavorful, company worthy for sure. Great appetizer. And mix your cheeses up on the top. Gruyere is very good on there. Um, I went with Swiss today. Normally I use mozzarella. I'll let that cool for a few minutes. There's my French onion soup. Thanks for watching.